CYC is a free channel presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. Welcome back. I'm Andrew Sackler here at the 2013 Southern U.S. Basketball Tournament here in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I have here with me Sarah Boulis. Please give me uh, what church you're from, please. I'm from St. Athanasius, I'm from Pensacola, Florida. And what brings you to this tournament this year? Just fun, friends, a good time, and encouraging my friends from North Carolina, Miami, Orlando, all over the place. And uh, is this your first time coming to this tournament? Yes, most definitely. Yes. Uh, great. Uh, well, welcome, for one. And hope you've been hope you've been enjoying it. What are some things that you really enjoy about the tournament? Um, honestly, all the Egyptians here. It's just so much fun. You know, we don't really see like a lot of people like in a in an area where you can have a lot of fun with them. So it's just nice to see all of them. You know. What about some things you wish were a little different? Anything that you know, coming in as a first timer, maybe you could critique us a little bit and say uh, maybe we could do this better or that better. Any thoughts? Um. Probably like maybe activities after the tournament, you know, for the people who don't play, it would be nice to like hang out with everyone together or do something. I know they go to dinner and things like that, but it would be better if we were all organized, you know. And uh, will, will we be expecting you back here next year? Yes, I loved it. It was so much fun. Whoever didn't come, they should always come. This is a really nice time to like meet everyone. A lot of Egyptians, you don't usually see a lot of Egyptians all together in one place and hanging out and playing basketball and going to dinner together, etc. Well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you for your time. And I'll see you next year. Thank you. I'm joined here by players from different teams all together. Guys, how's the tournament this year? It was a lot of fun. You know, we came out here, we tried our best. You know, nobody got seriously injured, which is good. But, you know, I just it was a good time. We had we had a good time. Yeah. And uh, some success? Um, not for my team, unfortunately. Um, but you know what? We tried our best. And it's it's really about having a fun, having fun, unity, meeting other people. And, you know, that's what it's all about. We start from the bottom. Anything the tournament can improve upon for next year? Um, Hanny from Orlando. Um, yeah, if we practice more, I think we will we'll conquer. I mean, look, look, basically, oh, the tournament. Yeah, what about the, the tournament as a whole? Anything we can do to make the tournament even better than it, than it already is? Um, don't do it during the Siam so we can have better food for the energy. But look, look, we started from the bottom. Started from the bottom. Where are we, guys? Now we're here. I'm here joined by two North Carolina guys. If you can tell me your name and what church you go to, please. Uh, Andrew Masood, St. Mary's Coptic Church in Raleigh, North Carolina. David Malik in the same church. All right, and guys, how was the tournament this year compared to last year? It's amazing. They actually changed the schedule up, new playing, new people. It's amazing. I love it. It's great. It's always improving every year. And Andrew, how did you guys do this year compared to last year? We uh, doubled our wins. We did really, really well. Uh, I can't complain. We played our hearts out. Um, that's pretty much it. We, we did a really good job. Anything you'd like, you'd like to see different uh, next year? Um, not really. I know that we had more planned. It was just due to time constraints and everything. It didn't plan to work out. But if everything that they say is going to happen again next year, if it actually does, I would love it even more. It's, it's almost impossible to love this place even more. But if that stuff goes down, I will love it forever. All right, the most important question, how awesome it was your coach this year, seriously? <laughs> uh, he sucked. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. He was one of the best coaches we've ever had. Uh, of course, he was one of the best coaches we've ever had. Uh, of course, I don't know, I could really, I'm lost for words. He was such a great coach. He had good substitutions. Um, I, someday I hope to be as great as a coach as he is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, let, let, let go, me, uh, go, Andrew Seckler. Yeah, I was gonna say, let, let me explain how he looks. He's about this tall, wears glasses. Um, he had a black suit on and uh, some kind of tie that looked exactly like this. And the Adidas shoes. And he had these Adidas shoes. Check 
this out, right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he had shoes just like that. And coincidentally, you guys have the same name. <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, honestly, it was a blessing to have him as a coach. And honestly, we wouldn't have changed it for the world. Um, if, if, we're, if we're lucky, he'll be able to coach us next year if he wants to. I heard that there's other teams that are trying to sign him right now. So we're hoping that we can some, some kind of, you know, make a push, maybe offer him some Del Taco or, or some kind of food or something to try to get him back. But honestly, it was a great blessing. He's a great coach. Well, thank you guys so much, and good luck again uh, next thank year. You. And number one, baby. We're number one. Look at this blue. It's we're coming so nice. for you. I'm Marina Fahmi, and I go to Atlanta, Georgia, St. Mary's Church. And what's your role in this year's tournament? I am coach for the high school boys. For the Atlanta team? Mm-hmm. Yes. And how have you been doing so far this year? They did good. It's their first year. They learned a lot. They met a lot of people. They're enjoying the fellowship, and we're hoping to come next year and do even better. Excellent. Tell me about how you prepared the team uh, for this year's tournament. Uh, well, we had lots of practices. Uh, we practiced about three times a week. So um, we have the basketball gym at our church, thank God. And that's basically all they did was just practice, practice, practice. So. Well, thank you and good luck next year. We'll, we'll be back next year coaching. Yes, God willing. Michael Fahmy from St. Mary's, Atlanta. Uh, Jacob Tadros from uh, St. Mary's Church at Atlanta. And is this your first uh, time playing in this competition? Uh, yes. yes. And uh, if you can tell me, uh, how did you enjoy this year's competition? Uh, we had a lot of fun. We met a lot of new people. It was really fun and um, yeah. All right. And uh, preparing for next year, now getting, gaining from this experience, what will you do different next year? Practice a lot harder, <clears throat> learn how to play when there's a lot of pressure and people against us, and just work on everything. And uh, what do you think of the organization and the competition here this year? Uh, it's very good. It's sad that the refs, uh, you know, didn't show up the second day, but we got through it, and uh, it, it was a good, it was a good organization. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much, and uh, good luck next year. This is the semifinal game against uh, with New Jersey playing against Miami for a chance to play for the championship. I have with you, I'm sitting here on the New Jersey bench. Please state your name and what church you go to. Um, my name is Anthony Youssef and I'm from St. Mark's Cedar Grove, New Jersey. I'm Andrew Morcos. I go to Virgin Mary St. Bohemios in Stony Point, New York. All right, guys, big match up here against Miami. What's your strategy coming into this to, to, to bring another championship home to New Jersey? You guys are the defending champions, so I'm sure experience plays a big part in this. Um, well, this is my first year coming right now, but um, first, I, um, the first thing I witnessed was that we have to play as a team, and that's what's going to lead us to the championship, but defense wins us games. That's all. What are some challenges that Miami poses to you guys? Defense! Well, defense! they like to run the ball, and they're very quick. They have a shooter number one, but... What's hey, gonna make hey, us, what's hey. gonna be key for our team is we have to play defense with our hands up and play as a family with heart. Excellent, guys, good luck to you in this game and hopefully in the championship. All right, thank you. So now we're here, semi-final action for the college championship tournament. We have here two teams, St. John of Miami in the gold against against uh, St. Mark, New Jersey. New Jersey is the defending champion coming into this tournament. And quickly they come out to a six nothing lead against the Miami. These are now the top two out of the top four teams. New Jersey being the, the, the number one team overall against uh, Miami, the number four team. Quick shot by Miami here. And New Jersey's very fast, picking up the ball. Stolen by number seven to number one of Miami. He finds number 20 for three, and he hits it. Cuts the lead in half. 6-3 now, New Jersey with the lead and the ball. That's gonna be key to Miami's uh, chances, see if they can move the ball quickly and uh, get some open looks from the three-point sh from the three-point land. They're a great three-point shooting team. They have great ball movement and great athleticism. But 
New Jersey has the experience, they have the size, and they have the strength to maybe bring another championship home to New Jersey. Two free throws coming up. First free throw missed, second free throw up, and it's good. 7-3 now. New Jersey with the lead. Miami coming on the floor. Number seven gets the ball. Trapped in the corner. Dribbles out of it. Ball's tipped. It's going to be a very physical game here. Miami's gonna have to figure out a way to beat the press. New Jersey bringing the ball up. Lewindy, number 10, finds an open player underneath the basket. Another foul now. For number 35, oh, sorry, for number 17. One of the most dominant players in this tournament, number 17 for New Jersey. As he hits another free throw. 10 to 3 now. New Jersey with the lead. Number 7 to number 20, back to number 7. Drives the ball in. It's out of bounds and it'll stay Miami ball. Number seven with the ball, dribbles around. Finds number five, tough shot, couldn't get it. Rebound by number 17. Please state your name and uh, what uh, church you're from. I'm Daniel Mina, I'm from Orlando. And uh, who do you think is gonna win this game against uh, from uh, St. Saint, Saint John uh, of Miami and St. Mark of New Jersey? I'm thinking New Jersey, they have a 6-8 in Joe, and he looks unstoppable right now. So I think they're gonna pull it off. What do you think Miami has to do to try to pull up the upset? They need to get their point guard to hit threes. All right. Well, thank you very much. Please state your name and uh, what church you go to. Uh, I'm Stephen Dermarkarian from St. Anthony Coptic Orthodox Church in Maitland, Florida. Well, welcome. Is this your first year in this tournament? Uh, no, it is not. I come pretty much every year for the last like seven years or something. And is this the best tournament you've ever been to in your whole life? Yes, it is. I love it. And uh, what's changed this year from last year? Um, there's a lot more teams that show up, so it's a lot more competitive, a lot more fun, and it's a great thing to be a part of. And uh, did you play this year? No, I did not. What was your role in this year's tournament? Uh, I'm a spectator and a fan. And uh, you were rooting hard for Orlando teams? Yeah, I am. And how are they doing so far? All of them are doing good. Yeah. And uh, who do you think is going to win the championship? Orlando. <laughs> All right, very good. Good luck to you. We have here one of the Orlando uh, high school players. Tough loss against uh, Tampa. What happened? I don't know, man. They're just physical. The refs are not that good. And, I mean, they're just a more physical and stronger team. Well, the refs uh, ref, ref for both sides, but what's your name? Mina Hakim. And what uh, church do you go to? St. Anthony. In Orlando? Yeah, Coptic. Okay, cool. And is this your first uh, time playing in this tournament? No. What's your strategy coming back next year? Get stronger, more physical and win. All right, very good. Well, good luck to you next year. Thank you for stopping by.
back in the action here. Semi-final matchup in the men's college game. St. John Miami against St. Mark of New Jersey. New Jersey once again is the defending champion of this tournament from last year. And they have an early 11-3 lead here in the first half. Please set your name and what church you go to. Uh, Joseph Orlando uh, St. Anthony Church. What's your full name? Joseph Abraham. Do you remember me from when uh, we were younger? What did you say? Uh, tell me about uh, your team this, this year. Uh, you, you played um, Orlando High School. Uh, this is my first year playing high school. This whole team, uh, we're called the underdogs. We, we're not really used to high school basketball yet. It's my first year. And we played good, just not as solid as I hoped. How does the competition change, the, the level of competition change from uh, middle school to high school? Middle school is a slow-paced game. No one really cares that much about it. High school is a fast-paced game and you gotta keep up with it. Who do you think is gonna win this game, uh, Miami against uh, New Jersey? New Jersey definitely has it. They're all NBA players. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for your time and good luck to you next year. Miami has cut the lead now from, from uh, now, now only down by three. Two minutes left. But number 17 is back to the free throw line. Second free throw up and is good. And St. John will take a timeout. This is Andrew Sackler back here in the 2013 Southern U.S. Basketball Tournament. Semi-final matchup for the college men's tournament. New Jersey, St. Mark Church against uh, St. John the Baptist from Miami. Close game so far. One minute left in the first half. And uh, Miami finds themselves down by four with only a minute left. Close game so far, tightly contested, as we believe all these games will be. Tough pass to handle there by number five. It'll be New Jersey ball now. 40, 45 seconds left in the first half. New Jersey will take their time, set up the offense. We have uh, another foul on the play from Miami. Number 10. Try to get the open man. Another, another stoppage of time. First free throw, no good. Second free throw, he hits. So that was a one one. First free throw is good. Stolen by number 10. 
but couldn't make the layup. Stolen back. Could have hit the layup again. We had timeout on the floor. We'll be returning to this game uh, shortly, but uh, in the meantime, let's go watch the, uh, the uh, girls' final game. Welcome back, my name is uh, Andrew Sackla, here at the 2013 Southern U.S. Basketball Tournament. We're here in the college semifinal matchup between Delray Beach and Orlando. Delray with a short lead here, slim lead, 15 to 11. After uh, Rua hits a free throw, it's now 15 to 12. Four minutes left in the semifinal game. Whoever wins this, this game will go to the championship and face New Jersey. Del Rey can't make the two layups. Once again, to get to this point of the competition, these are the, these are the two of the best four teams left. So we're gonna see some high quality basketball here. Number three, for three, missed it. 3.30 left, Del Rey up by three. Once again, this is the semi-final game between uh, Del Rey and Orlando. 15, finds number two. Back to number one. Number four now will reset the game. Looking for, trying to set up his teammates. Open three, and he hits it. And that's a big three for number four. Pushes the lead up to, up to six with 240 left. Number zero blocked and 18 goes in for the easy lay-in. Del Rey up by eight. Orlando with a timeout, up by, down by eight with 230 left. I have here with me uh, Liz Assad. Please tell me what church you go to. St. George, Tampa, Florida. And uh, what's your role been in this year's tournament? Running around and making sure that everything's going well and supervising. And uh, how, do you th how do you think the tournament has gone overall this year? I think it's been great. I think that everyone is really enjoying themselves and um, the competition has developed some rivalries, but I think it's overall a great thing. All right, and uh, any improvements you think need to, be, need to happen for next year? Hopefully more teams. Right. Well, great, well, thank you for your time. Right, thank, you. thank you for your efforts, thank you. Back to the action here. Number three for Houston, for Orlando, hits a big shot to bring his team within six. Two minutes left in this game, plenty of time left for Orlando. Otherwise, Del Rey will fighting for his chance to play New Jersey for the finals. We have an offensive foul now, and it will be Orlando ball. Two minutes left, anything can happen in this game. Number three will bring the ball down. Crosses over, dribbles in, but couldn't miss the pull up J. It'll go back to Del Rey. Take their time now up by six, a minute 40 left. Orlando has a tough hill to climb if they want, if they want to play for the rights for the championship. Number 18, sets up, 
Some pressure now from Orlando. Out number one to number four. Spins around, beautiful move. Finds number nine for the layup and it's good. Beautiful basketball, that's really precision execution on offense. Number 24 for three, just short. Good shot by number 24, just couldn't miss it, could have couldn't hit it. One gets the rebound, finds number four. 50 seconds left. And a hard foul on number six. Hard foul. Number 18 to bring the ball back in. Finds number one. Number one dribbles up, finds number 18. Back to three. Finds number one. Fouled. 36 seconds left. Down by eight. And all Del Rey has to do here is take care of the ball and they'll have the chance to play for the championship against a tough defending champion, New Jersey. Number four, fouled intentionally. Thirty-four seconds left, and it's all but wrapped up for Del Rey now. Number four fouled again. We'll be shooting, uh, shooting free throws now, but it's a timeout for Del Rey. Hello, please state your name and what church you go to, please. Uh, my first name is Clark, last name Gurgis, and I go to San Rebecca Coptic Orthodox Church. Here, here in our beautiful Orlando? Orlando, yeah. And uh, please tell me a little bit about this game. What's been going on? Uh, right now it's a game between Orlando College and Delray College. Delray right now is in the lead, 22 to 14, and, and there is 31 seconds left. All right, and... Uh, How's the game been so far? Pretty competitive? Yeah, it's very competitive. I mean, the score would say otherwise, but I mean, they've both been putting on a pretty good uh, show. So yeah, very competitive. Have you seen a lot, of, a big difference between the high school game and the college game? Um, this is actually the first college game I've seen for you know the competition weekend. I've been watching more of a high school, um, but I would say yeah, pretty much they're a little bit more um, rigorous and more intense when it comes to playing. Uh, they've definitely been training a lot harder, and um, yeah. All right, well, thank you very much, and enjoy the, enjoy the last rest of the game. Thank you. 24 to 14 now, Delray with the lead, and pretty much lost the game for the chance to win for the championship. Number three for three, rims out, and is fouled, number 15 is fouled by Delray. 11 seconds left. These may, these may just be some morality points. Trying to get something going here, last 10 seconds. Stolen. And that's gonna be the game, folks. Delray Church has defeated Orlando Church for the chance to play New Jersey for the championship game. College championship coming up next. See you soon. Thank you.